delicious vanilla fudge pouring out of the machine. Here to tell me all about how they make it here at uh, Candy For You, Samantha McLean. I'm like mesmerized by mm -hmm. this, by this fudge. It smells so good. Do you make it from scratch? Well, we use real butter and some base mixes. Mm -hmm. And then it mixes in here for a bit and then we do all single recipes after. So we have about nine cups in here. So we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of maple flavoring. Okay. Teaspoon. I'm so bad for usually measuring over top of my, um, of whatever I'm mixing it into. So you should give me some credit for there doing it right today. Okay, so there's one teaspoon and then we need to find the half in here. There's a quarter. Okay. It smells so good, the maple. It must be really strong if you only need that strong. much. We do mint, it's really, really strong. So if you want to just start okay. mixing that, we have to make sure there's no streaks around the sides and at the bottom. Okay, is there a certain technique you can't this bit? Just. <laughs> 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 okay. You get some muscles doing this, you right? Do. I'll get it off the sides here. How many different types of fudge do you make here at the store? We've probably made. Um, at least over 20 different flavors at different times. Oh, you're always doing different ones? Yes. Seasonal? Um, some, yeah. Right now we have a pumpkin pie nut, mm -hmm. apple pie, caramel apple pie, and a bunch of cheesecake flavors. We have strawberry cheesecake, lemon meringue cheesecake, and caramel pecan cheesecake. Okay, so if you're a fudge lover, yes. you might want to swing by the shop. Yes. Um, is it okay if I just eat it like this? <laughs> it smells so good. Okay. <laughs> How is it looking? It's looking pretty good. We do have some streaks along the side, so we just got to make sure it's all mixed. So Haven't quite reached really perfection yet, eh? Okay, so now we're going to make a couple of different things today. We'll be pouring it into the pan for your typical fudge. Yes, and then we're going to do fudge-covered apples. I don't think I've ever had a fudge-covered apple. They're really good. <laughs> I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Apples, fudge, how can you go mm -hmm. wrong, really? So that's the pan we're going to pour this into. Okay. And do you want to pour it? Uh, sure. Is there a certain way no, I should pour it? Just even back and forth, just to kind of keep it even. Okay. And how long will it need to set it's for? For a few hours, usually. Usually, if I make it in the afternoon, like overnight. Mm -hmm. The whole the thing. Morning. Yep, the whole thing. Sorry, I didn't trap. Uh, okay. <laughs> Get the excess off the edges. Okay. And in it goes. And there it goes. So you've only been open since the end of August. August. Yes. And what made you want to open a candy shop? Well, I thought it'd be fun, give people a little trip down nostalgia lane, and carry a lot of different items. Yeah. Older items, hard to find. And, and is that we your have maple fudge? Is that your daughter behind the cat? That is my daughter. What's her name? Her name is Dakota. Hi, Dakota. Hi. <laughs> so it's nice that it's the two of you working together yes. in here. So we're just going to move that one out of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to fill another container so that we can dip Ooh. our apples for our fudge apples. Okay. So we might run out of time, so we won't show you the entire okay. fudge dipping uh, process. Just push it in right beside the stem. Right beside it, Kate. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. And Excellent. Let's just do We're going to continue little. making our fudge covered <sighs> apples here in Kempville. If you head to the Candy For You website, you can look at all of the information later in the morning. We will be looking at candies imported from all over the world and how they put together their phenomenal gift baskets. Stay with us. It's all to come later. Good morning, guys.